House passed a bill in May, and and this this the Senate went on vacation. I mean, you just don't do that. You, you negotiate. This empty soul is Mitch McConnell. Senator, it is a national crisis. Yeah. Who's not taking his election seriously? I'll give you a few seconds, Senator, if you want to respond to that. That was a little bit out of order in time. You mean to her yes. ridiculous comment? Yes. <laughs> no. All right. She's a Marine. She's a mom. And I've been there too long. I was, I was shocked that uh, former President Obama left so many vacancies and didn't try to fill those positions. I'll Senator, tell you why. I'll tell you why. I was in charge of the uh, of what we did the last two years of the Obama administration. I give, I, and I will give you full credit for that. And by the way, take a bow. All right, that was a good line. This is also Mitch McConnell. What is it with these guys in stairs or ramps? One of my proudest moments is when I looked at Barack Obama in the eye and I said, Mr. President, you will not fill this Supreme Court vacancy. Why do these guys thrive off pure evil? His opponent, Amy McGrath, gave Kentuckians a glimpse of someone who would care for them. Not a man who uses his office to enable a guy like this. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. Who just flat out admits it. I'm the one that brought back football. By the way, I brought back Big Ten <laughs> football. It was me, and it, I'm very happy to do it. This is a lie. But let's look at football returning, shall we? The virus delivering a hard hit to the NFL. Football may have come back, but not without, you know, that pandemic thing. The New England Patriots training facility shut down for the third time in just 10 days after another player tested positive. Where the president doesn't care about us, nor football players. In collegiate football, where the school limits in-person classes, but those making universities mega millions mandatorily roam the campus and perform while seeing 0% of the profit, have the most to risk. We are close to 30 games being postponed or canceled due to COVID-19. When Trump was airlifted to Walter Reed Medical Center, he was given round the clock care and per idiot number two, Eric Trump, a vaccine. Trump was given an experimental cocktail. Stem cells were used. Tough blow for the pro-life crowd when that life is ingested by the president. Athletes, do you think, well, they're getting this treatment? Of course not. Condition is called myocarditis. It causes inflammation of the heart muscles, cells. And then if you have inflammation of the muscle cells, then the heart can become dysfunctional. Would you want your son or daughter to be playing high level sports, have myocarditis and die on the field? And that's the big question. Athletes revealed their surprise at the potency of its symptoms struggles to reestablish workout regimens, lingering battles with lung issues and muscle weakness, and unsettling bouts of anxiety about whether they would be able to match their physical peaks. And the reason for all of this BS? You just don't do that. Trump's enabler, Mitch McConnell. Although I absolutely despise the deplorable, sickening human beings at the Lincoln Project, this quote is true. Demagogues like Trump, if they can get elected, can't really govern unless they have people like Mitch McConnell. John Yarmuth, the Democratic congressman from Louisville, who has known McConnell for 50 years, said he never had any core principles. He just wants to be something. He doesn't want to do anything. 